Hi, and welcome to Match Move for Production by VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this video we'll be continuing with the shot MM009. In part two, we'll be importing our camera into Maya and getting it ready to be used. So we've opened up Maya. Um, so our first thing to do is to import in our camera. So if we go File, Import. And if we go to our place where we've exported out all our data, MM09. If we go to the abandoned car park mail script, and click import. This will now make us a scene group in our outliner. So what we can do, we can double click on this and click on MM and press uh, enter. So now we've renamed it to MM for match move. Now if we open it up and we can see that we've got our sequence cam in here with all our keyframes. And now we also have this Sigma 18 35 mil camera, which is the camera that we solved our distortion. We can go ahead and delete this. We do not need that anymore. So now if we go over to our panels, we click perspective, and we can select our camera to look through it. If we scrub through our timeline, we can see it's quite laggy because this is still brought in our original uh, image sequence that we've tracked to. So what we're going to do, if you select this camera here, this little camera icon, it will now open up our camera in the attribute editor and if we click right on this little triangle it one more time so we see our image plane shape if we select that and what we're going to do we want to change our attribute so now if we go to our alpha gain change it to 0 0.7 and if we go to our image name we want to change this to our undistorted plate so now if we go to where we rendered off our undistorted plate You can click anyone, it doesn't matter. Um, click, and then click open. Now click on use image sequence. And now you want to scroll down to change to placement to change your depth to one. Now all we need to do is import in our set geo. So if you go file, import, and go to our data package where we have our set geo. And you'll have your abandoned car park set geo. Import that. And what we can do, we can click on shaded, wireframe or shaded, so we can see our wireframe. So it's gone a little bit funny here. So if we select our camera, change our near clipping plane to one, you can see it's moved it out a little bit. And if we go to our renderer, click on default and open on the little, click on the little box, and scroll down to our anti aliasing. You can click on smooth wireframe and multi sampling anti aliasing. And you see that's all nicely smoothed down there. And if we scrub through our timeline, we can see we've got a really efficient working scene where everything's working really smoothly. We can scrub through really fast. And then you're ready to put your work in or animate anything going across and to go on to the next stage. Or if you're using it for your match move, you're all done and uh, play it out. So we're done for this shot. Um, this tutorial for this shot is complete. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and got a lot from it. Um, and I guess I'll see you on the next shot. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.